Welcome to the Faber-Castell Museum Series Tutorial. We're going to learn techniques that you'll be able to use on any of the Museum Series paintings. We're going to start by painting sc the scream. I'm so excited to paint the screen because it has a lot of vibrant colors in it. You're going to get to use these colors here like indigo and oranges and bright reds. And it has in the kit these fabulous brushes. And there's a wide brush and a narrow brush. And we also are going to use these oil pastels. And if you haven't used them before, you're really going to enjoy um, adding these onto your painting. They have nice, bright, and vibrant colors, but they'll also blend really well. So you'll be able to use your brush to blend them in. Um, so it's just a great tool for our painting here. We're gonna get started by mixing our paint first. So I'm gonna take my wide brush and this dark blue color, we're gonna make indigo. So dark blue here is gonna go onto my mixing tray and I'm gonna put some purple into that. And that's gonna help me make a really pretty indigo color. The indigo is going to be great for adding shadows onto our fence post on the screen. So we're gonna take the indigo and I'm gonna follow the paint by numbers and it tells me exactly where to apply the indigo. And I'm gonna apply that onto the fence. It's gonna give me some great shadows on this fence. Now what I'm going to do is use this narrow brush to help paint the small details on the painting. There are two little ships in the background, so I'm going to paint those in with a dark blue. So I'm going to dip my brush just the tip in the dark blue. And then I'm going to paint using just the bristles on the very end of the brush to paint the small details of the ship. I've made some progress on my painting, and now I'm going to do a dry brush technique. Now there is a wide brush included in our kit and a narrow brush included in our kit as well. I'm gonna start with the wide brush, and what we're gonna do is our sky has some great orange and yellow tones into there, and we're gonna dry brush some red over that. So I'm gonna make sure that my brush is nice and clean, and I'm gonna dip it down into the red but I only want to get a little bit of paint on the brush. When you're dry brushing, you don't need a lot of paint. So we're just going to use a little bit on the tip of our brush. And then we're going to take it and you want to go in sort of quick movement with your brush. And we're going to blend it right across. You want the color that's behind there to still show through. So I'm going to blend it together, adding those red strokes in. Sometimes if I have a little bit too much paint on my brush, you can use your napkin and sort of dust it off a little bit. I like to do that when I accidentally put a little too much paint on my brush. I'll just sort of brush it off. My favorite part of the screen are all the vibrant colors. So this gives me a great chance to add some more um, accent colors into the sky. And now I'm going to show you how to use oil pastels. If you've never used them before, you're going to love them. They're very bright and vibrant in color. It's a very soft sort of feel to them. And that'll really help for you to be able to blend the colors very well. I'm gonna start by using a little bit of blue. And when you look at the canvas board here, you're gonna see some lines that have been um, added on to there as a guide for you. And we're gonna use those lines to help us, although there's no wrong way to do it, but we certainly are gonna use those to help us along. So with the blue um, oil pastel, I'm gonna start down at the very bottom of the canvas board and let my um, oil pastel sort of just guide along the pathway. We're gonna add some dimension onto that pathway. So I'm gonna start down at the bottom and go up. Next, I'm going to use some green. So I'm gonna get my green oil pastel and do the same technique, but I'm gonna make the lines a little bit shorter this time. And that's how it'll add a lot of dimension onto your walkway. 
Now when we talk about using oil pastels, one of the great features to, to them are that they'll blend very, very well and you're really going to enjoy that. So we're gonna take a cl our clean, wide brush. We'll make sure that it's nice and clean and dry and we're just going to apply a little bit of pressure onto the area where the oil pastels are on our canvas board. And you're gonna see that the harder that you press, it'll help them to blend. You could even add a little bit of water onto the tip of your brush if you would like, and that will help the color blend even more. I'm going to take my brush with a little bit of water and sort of get some of the water off and use that to blend it a little more. And we'll do it anywhere where we had the oil pastel on the canvas board. We don't really want it to look like a harsh line necessarily, so we're gonna blend it in to make it a little bit softer. And included in your kit is this awesome art easel. And what you do is you just have to cut out the corners and then you bend the legs in and there's these little pieces that you'll bend out that are gonna hold your canvas. And I'm gonna display my artwork right here. And let's take a peek at our finished product. So when you look at this painting, we used a lot of different techniques. We had to mix colors, so we used dark blue and purple to make an indigo, and we used that to shadow some of our fence line. We had um, used some of our oil pastels to add some dimension onto the walkway, into the skyline, all over the painting in various places. And what we did with our wide brush is we blended that um, oil pastel to give it sort of a softness to the painting. But that's one thing that I love the most about this painting is it's very dramatic. S the scream shouts at you and tells you, look at the sky, look at how beautiful it is. And that's how Edward Monk did it over 100 years ago.